My name is Emma. I'm here to say I miss Philippines in every way. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Emma. I have a message for you. Been working on it all morning. My name is Emma. I'm here to say I miss Philippines in every way. <laughs> all right, so you might know I've taken me all morning to think of that, maybe about 15 seconds. <laughs> but still, I miss the Philippines because it's raining so much in England at the moment. And they said it's going to rain for the next seven days. So we're not in for the best. Oh, my hair. <laughs> we're not in for the best luck when it comes to the weather. So Jay's at work. Um, only for another couple more hours. So I'm going to cook him a really nice dinner. I decided that I'm going to try something. So last time I tried to cook Filipino adobo, it did not go very well. So I'm not going to do that again for this video. <laughs> But what I am going to do, I'm just noticing my face looks so pale and this is not the best colour lipstick for someone who's as pale as me. I look like a ghost. <laughs> but never mind, I got my Hello Kitty jumper on so I'm still cute, still cute. Yeah. <laughs> so what I am going to do, I'm going to try make my own homemade lumpia. And if you don't know what lumpia is or if I'm not pronouncing it right, it's spring rolls. Which, by the way, I understand the Filipinos claim as their own, but did you know, actually it came from Hawaii. I mean, I didn't fact check that, I read it on the internet, <laughs> but it's true. So, I thought you were nice people, Filipinos. You're stealing, you're stealing from Hawaii. It's a beautiful country, what are you doing? <laughs> Trying to pass it off as your own, shocking. But anyway, it tastes really good, so I'm gonna try and make my own. I'm going to go to Asda, which is our local supermarket, and they have a world food section, so I'm hoping they have lumpia sheets, uh, pastry sheets, lumpia wallpaper, <laughs> lumpia packaging, I don't know, but I'm hoping they have it. If not, I'll have to pass the Chinese store, which I was hoping not to do because someone knows Jay who works there, and um, I just don't want the surprise to get out, not that it's the biggest surprise in the world. <laughs> um, and also I'm going to try cook what is called spagovi. That is Polish. Um, I don't know if you know it in the Philippines. You may try to claim something similar as your own food if you do what you did to Hawaii. <laughs> so basically it's a pork schnitzel. Uh, I think it's called that in Australia. Pork schnitzel, basically it's pork, bash it with a steak hammer, make it very thin, cover it in breadcrumbs and fry it, baby. And it's really nice. And I'm going to do that with French fries with the lumpia uh, as a snack, appetizer, whatever. So I'm going to try to take you with me. But as I said, it's pouring it down with rain. So I don't know how much luck we'll have with that. But um, come on, let's go. And Jay will be home shortly and we'll see what he thinks. Okay, so we're outside the Chinese shop. So I'm hoping he will have some lumpia sheets. So we're gonna go inside. I know I said I didn't want to ruin a surprise to Jay in case he says, oh, I saw your wife, because we both know him. But um, what if I go all the way to Astro and they don't have any? So needs must, needs be must, something like that. <laughs> That's good. So I'm in the Chinese shop and there's so many different things. Um, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing lupia right because I asked a guy if he had them and he didn't know what I meant. I had to show him a picture that I googled and he says he has them. So now I have to find them. And 
it's gonna be a little tricky, but I'm up to the task. Hmm. Lumpia sheets. Lumpia sheets. Where are you? Oh yeah. I'm in Asda and they don't have the Lumia so I did the right thing, yay! Okay, so I've been to Asda and I'm really glad that I went to the Chinese store because they didn't have the Lumia sheets that I needed but I still had to go to Asda's because I still had to get the meat and the veg Ugh, I forgot the cabbage so I'm gonna have to go to another shop on the way home and um, time to go I wanted to pick up like three things and as usual I always pick up like two bags and now I have to carry them all the way home. And I only have myself to blame. Carrying two bags home, two heavy ass bags, always a mistake. I never learn. Face goes red from wearing the face mask and carrying these two heavy ass weights home. And they are very heavy. <laughs> and I realized I forgot the dessert. I forgot the cabbage. <laughs> There's quite a few things that I need to get. So thankfully I pass it to the shop on the way home. But before I move on, because I'm such a state, I'm gonna set my wall, my wall, the city's wall, with my bags, drinking my iced coffee, and have a little refill. It's good. Empty. So it's time to go. Let's make a move. Sorry, the city's very noisy. Does it not know I'm trying to make a video? <laughs> God. I'm so entitled. <laughs> All right, we're back from the stores. We made it home. <laughs> We've cooled down. The face isn't red anymore. We can continue. <laughs> um, I got the Lumpia sheets. I am so happy that I got them. And yeah, Asda was all sold out. I know I said earlier, but yeah, all sold out. So I'm so glad that I went to the store so I didn't have to carry the big bags all the way back to the Chinese store. Um, I got them. They were in the freezer aisle. I didn't even think to look in the freezer aisle. I don't know why. I thought they would be like, um, like wraps. So they're usually in like the bread aisles if you go to a supermarket. Obviously, if you go by pastry, then that's usually in the fridge. So I don't know why I didn't think to look in the chilled. But it's really funny because I was in there easily for like 10, 15 minutes. And it's only very small. <laughs> and um, this woman came up, which I think was the guy's wife, to rescue me. And um, so I bought those. A guy asked anything else. And I asked for fortune cookies. And they didn't have any. I was so shocked. I had no idea that fortune cookies was a seasonal thing. I really wanted to buy authentic Chinese cookies from a Chinese store and they didn't even have them. Never mind, we'll try around Chinese New Year. Anyone know when that is? <laughs> um, firstly, we're going to start cooking, but before I do, I have a huge apology to make. I was looking at the recipe again, so I was following a YouTube video. Sorry if this is a little bit shaky, my hands are shaky. I just had a terrifying incident with a wasp and I was screaming, I was all alone. It had me locked out of my own living room. <laughs> it was scary guys. But um, yeah, I have a huge apology to make. So I was re-watching the video to make the lumpia that I saw um, when I typed in easy Filipino foods. So hopefully it will be easy. And I re-watched the video again and I realized she didn't say that the Philippines took it from Hawaii. They said Hawaii took it from the Philippines. <coughs> I am shocked for one. I apologize right to my core. Patawan, so Patawan. I never meant to hurt you. Sorry, C 
seems to be the hardest word. But not for this girl. I am very sorry. I won't do it again. I'd like to say I won't go to Hawaii, but um, how would I swim with the giant turtles? I need to think that one through. Maybe we'll forgive them. I mean, I'm cooking in England, right? So we're kind of stealing it too. Mm, am I forgiven? Let me know in the comments below. And just like that, let's start cooking. All right, so I've got my iPad, which I'm following along to the recipe. And the first step it says is to heat up some oil. So we need to add garlic. It says green onion, which I hope is spring onion. <laughs> and regular onion as well we need to add those I've been chopping these up I don't cook very often and I didn't know your eyes would still water from spring onions but they do they're definitely gonna water when I cut this onion so so I got told an old wives tale that if you put a spoon in your mouth when cutting onions it stops you crying so I'm gonna try it I'll let you know how it goes <laughs> mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Not working eyes are stinging like a bitch <laughs> sorry children ah! oh it actually hurts so bad see my eyes watering Woo. Jay's gonna come home any minute I can pretend I'm really angry why do you do this oh, I'm actually crying I'm like, I know what you did He's finished work at four o'clock. It's four o'clock now. Oh, okay. So that was clearly an old wise tale. Did not work. Look at my eyes. Whew, my eyes are very sensitive to onion. <laughs> So we got our mixture, so we place the sheet with the one corner near us and then we put one or two things here. Jay's home. Hello Jay. Jay's home. Jay's home. Hey guys! Guess what I'm making? Guess. Bib mints. Lumpia. Lumpia. Yeah, I'm making my own lumpias. <laughs> oh my god, it's in my trying now. Huh? <laughs> Are you gonna try it? <laughs> it's gonna be nice, babe. Do you think I can do it? Yeah, of course. Are oh, you use the the beef? Yeah, I'm trying beef instead of pork. Yeah. Okay, guys. See you later. I will judge the lumpia of Emma. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to business. So, you put one or two spoons as the mixture, and it says to leave it around an inch and a half, which I don't really know what that is, <laughs> towards the bottom. So, let's hope for the best there. And it said to leave one corner facing you. So this is facing me. So we start to roll. Took it all under nicely. Nicely, I said. 
Okay, roll till you get to the corner like this. And then you took both corners in. So hold a corner, hold it down. And then take this corner, hold it down. Then it should look like a kind of envelope. And then hold it down, start rolling again. And then when you get here, what you do is you need to make a paste, just using flour and water. And then you just get painting, girl. So paint this. So it will stick. And then continue to roll. Ooh. And we have a first lumpia. Lumpia. Um, obviously it needs frying, but we have a shape. And now I will do the rest. Cue the time lapse. gonna sneak a little taste before the rest of the dinner cooks ready so, taste taste guys these are beef lumpias mm -mm. first time golden having brown lumpia by emma really crispy they're good yeah it's really nice guys this is the lumpia of Emma Robio! Hey! <laughs> Do you like it? It's really crispy, look. Mmm. Must rock. Look at me and tell me it's good, not just the camera. <laughs> you like it? It's really good. How much out of 10? <laughs> 9 out of 10. It's not really perfect, but. Why? It's really good. Why is it not perfect? really good to me the taste is not really filipino it's like 90 percent only why because the ingredient is not really all filipino oh there's soy sauce in there yeah but it's really good um i didn't do pork i did beef as you know you've watched the video duh but um we'll come back to you in a minute we have the rest of the food to finish cooking and then we will eat and talk to you guys and we'll see you at dinner <laughs> i'll see you soon right guys <laughs> we are now having food it's been hectic in this kitchen trying to time everything so we have the lumpias there's only four they are very good lumpias and the reason that I did the beef is because we already had so much pork the other day <laughs> and for a few days afterwards I don't know if you've seen but we did a mukbang video with Hannah, Alex and Koya Ariel yeah. um, by a great chef and it, we had the whole mukbang it was a hell of a lot of pork it was really interesting for me actually because it tasted really good but we People think we don't have pork or lechon like in England. We do. It's actually quite semi-traditional in England, but we call it a hog roast and we never see it looking like an animal. In the UK, we know we eat meat, <laughs> but we don't, we like to pretend we don't. <laughs> so we never yeah. see anything resembling an animal. Bones are gone where possible. Um, definitely no faces, no tails. I mean, yeah, so I've never seen it look like an actual pig and that was hard for me. Like it was enough to, I could never go vegan or vegetarian because I'm too much of a carnivore. <laughs> but so, it was enough to make you think. Let's get started guys. So these are beef and that was really good. The lumpia is really good. Look. Yeah. And we did the pork. You know, I said we were doing the Polish dish, bagovi with fries. 
Jace doesn't look very good. His coating fell off. Really crispy, guys. Look. <laughs> okay. Good job, Emma. Try the pork. So this dish. Oh, one second. I'll load battery. Can you just press close? Should still be filming, so don't stop it. Yeah. So, um, sorry, guys. <laughs> intermission. So this dish was inspired by Netflix. I don't know if you've seen Feed Me Phil. You remember? Oh, yeah. He went to Italy and he did what was called this pork schnitzel, which, as I was saying, is originally a Polish dish called spigovi. And I know Sp Jay. Spigovi. Spigovi? Spigovi. Not Polish, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but definitely my dad pronounced it spigovi. So try it and let me know. No rice, guys, tonight. Uh, That's fine. The pork is really good. Have you um, tried it? I love the lumpia. I really miss lumpia from Philippines. Hang on, I know you love the Philippines, but have you tried the pork? Yeah, I, put, I tried already. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. Okay. Look, guys. Look how crispy it is. The sound is like cracking. Mm. Oh my god. I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> <laughs> if you've seen my cooking videos, you will see I'm known for failing at cooking. And I didn't fail today. Minus Jay's coating on his pot. You did a good job tonight. Salamat maraming. Mang Tomas, perfect for lumpia. Mm -hmm. This lumpia, guys, uh, this is one of the Filipino food that Emma really likes. When she went to the Philippines, Yeah. she loves the lumpia of my brother because my brother uh, loves to cook. They were so, so good. <laughs> so Ima loves uh, his lumpia, my brother Eric Robio. Yeah. And he always cook lumpia because Ima is uh, really like it. I've never had like him. Um, another one is good. But this it's one's weird. pretty close. Eric, if you're watching, I'm coming for you. <laughs> my brother. <laughs> um, have you ever tried um, lumpia with beef rather than pork? Uh, some people, but... No, have you tried it? No, not yet. This is my first time. Oh, really? Yeah. And do you think it works? Yeah, it's really good. Okay. It's really perfect for Mang Tomas. You want to try it? Yeah, but let me finish with my mouth. Mm. <laughs> mm -mm. This mm. is the really favorite of Ima, guys. And I re I'm really I'm really proud of Ima because we, she cooks really good now. And, you know, she's really good wife. She's like Filipina now. I really? still don't like eating on camera, but you request it, <laughs> you do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's our way of saying thank you. That's why I hide my mouth. I don't like it. Thank you, guys. It's good. Mm. Thank you. You're welcome. Love you. No, I'm kidding. I love <laughs> you, too. Mm. That's why I wanted to do this nice dinner for you. Um. It's not Filipino. I wanted to cook a mango float and I'm thinking of cooking a mango float in one of our upcoming videos, but I forgot the mangoes I was gonna buy. So I bought you your favorite English dessert. Yeah. You know what it is? Stoppy pudding. Sticky toffee pudding. So that will be for dessert. <laughs> We're having a hearty meal, three course meal. Wow. It's really good guys. Mm. Mm. When we come back to the Philippines, Ima will wants the cut the lumpia again. I'll be cooking lumpia for the family now. Yeah. <laughs> um, you can say, hey, I'm gonna cook lumpia for you guys. <laughs> I can now. And um, I was telling them today how much I miss the Philippines. Yeah. I really miss the Philippines, especially in this weather. Familiar. I know you guys want to see more travel vlogs and we want to give you more travel vlogs but unfortunately COVID has other ideas so we can't wait to go back to traveling and do more travel vlogs but just bear with us because it probably won't be till 2021 now <laughs> we have a cruise booked in April if that goes ahead so stay tuned until then we'll try and have days out in the UK so yeah. final verdict before we put the camera away Lumpia out of 10? Uh, Lumpia guys out of 10 is 9. Big question. 9 or Eric? Eric. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Why am I doing that? <laughs> I'm not the one being strangled. But the reason why I'm saying I prepare my brother's uh, lumpia because he's using the pork. But this one is beef. It's still good. It's 9 out of 10. It's really almost perfect. But I love the pork lumpia. <laughs> but you, you, he's Filipino. you did a really, really good job. Thank well you. Done. Well done. I followed a recipe on YouTube. I have forgotten for the life of me what it was called. I think she was called Ono Recipes or Ono Food or something. She's from Hawaii. I will link it if you want to see. I feel like I should credit her a little bit. I changed uh -huh. the recipe a little bit, but um, because that's because I didn't. Maybe I was Alex, lazy. Alex and Hannah will love this one. Yeah. I think so, yeah. yeah. Something Filipino I can make for them. Yeah. And my mum. I'm going to take over. Emma is. I'm pretty sure Emma is going to be a really good mother. Because she cooks really good. Um, mother? Not for a good few years, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually. We're not having baby yet, guys. We're still. We are. Too many places to travel. Yeah. Too many things to do. So many things. We're really good, guys. And thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Look, <laughs> thank you so much for um, watching our video all the time, for your love and support to us. And shout out to you lahat. Shout out to all. Uh, stay safe. Oh, can I say something? <laughs> thank you for all your really nice comments. When you say really nice ones, it's so nice. Arigato. <laughs> Thank you so much. We and read every one of them. Yeah. And the bad ones, we just block you. So if we haven't reacted to your comment, but one thing, guys. Can we? We will ask a favor. Can you please, uh, if you love this video, please share and don't forget to share our uh, video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Cheers. Cheers, guys. <laughs> Mang Tomas. Quink. Alright. Bye. Bye bye. Love you. Love you all.